take a look now at how we can add audio into our websites. There's two programs I use. One is called Sonic Memo and that's the first one I'm going to show you. In this one over here you can browse for your mp3 file and you can import the file wherever it is. Uh, doesn't matter where your file is, if it's on my desktop there, if I've got my sound files. So there's a couple of files. I could just bring in any of those that I wanted to. Let's say I wanted to bring in that file. It would automatically bring the file in. I can then create the different buttons over here and as you can see it will demonstrate the buttons. Let's say I want a five button and there's different ways you can use it. A shine button, an audio box which is quite popular over there which looks like the old uh, audio recorders. You can have your page color. You can then put in your preferences. So there's a lot you can do there and that's available from jjennings.com. The other one that I use which is a little easier is something called Flash Audio Visit, a Wizard. Now if we look at Flash Audio Wizard, I'm going to choose a new project. Let's just call it New Project and I'm going to go next year. You can either record a new audio or you can convert an existing one. What I'm going to do is just convert an existing one and there you can see you've got different preferences. I'm going to now go and load it and let's have a look there at Frank Furness's Test Sound. So I've now loaded that and I can actually test it as well. I can play it. Hi, this is Frank Furness, and what I'm doing now, I've just recorded a little piece so that I can show you how I'm going to turn this into a flash recording and then upload that to the internet. Okay, there you can see we've uploaded that. I now click next, and once again, I can choose the various buttons here, and uh, that one looks pretty corporate y. You can choose the different colors here as well, so that's Let's choose a nice uh, blue color. We click next there. Where do I want to save it? I'm just going to save it to my desktop here and then it goes a generate flash audio file. So now you can see there it's generating the file. It's pretty quick. Now I could very easily just cut and paste that, put that into my website or if I wanted to test it, what it'll do here, it'll save and test it. It'll open up a little web page and basically put the buttons there so I can try out what I've just seen. So there it's going now, saving and testing. If we just wait a second or two, it'll bring up a test website where we can see how it's worked. There we go. It's generated the web page. And very shortly we'll see the buttons. There we go, you can see the buttons. And if I now clicked on that. Hi, this is Frank Furnest, and what I'm doing now, I've just recorded a little piece so that I can show you how I'm going to turn this into a flash recording and then upload that to the... Isn't that easy to do? Well, that's how you can add audio to your website. Well, thanks so much for watching this short clip and now I've got some free ebooks and software for you. Write this down, http forward slash www.frankfurnace.com forward slash free underscore downloads dot cfm if you go there, you'll be able to download stacks of free books, software, and lots and lots more. Take a look there. There you can see some, and there's more and more being added each month. So remember to go to www.frankfurnace.com forward slash free underscore downloads dot cfm for lots and lots of free books, software, and stacks more. Also go to www dot frankfurnaceresources.com so frankfurnaceresources.com for lots and lots of other resources video clips and as you can see there are all kinds of stuff there website creator software a free book on google adwords headline creator there's lots and lots going on over there so there are the two sites you must go to frankfurnace.com forward slash free underscore downloads dot cfm for lots and lots of free books and software and frankfurnaceresources.com for lots of other video clips.